And Matthew, we also see the uh, defense, you know, is ready. They are ready to tackle this um, this interrogation tape. They're ready to say this coer this uh, confession was coerced, that we shouldn't rely on it. What are some of the ways you imagine they're going to really uh, strike at that? Yeah, they're going to show police tactics that are um, uh, that are overly suggestive. Um, they're going to, um, you know, show how. Uh, maybe uh, um, they, 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 they coerce this confession through, um, you know, prolonging the, the investigation, um, wearing uh, um, the defendant down, making him admit to stuff, um, but also point to the fact that there's no body, despite the fact that there's a confession. Um, so uh, here you have a defendant who's confessed to a crime, but out of that has come no physical evidence, a lack of physical evidence. And that's what the, uh, what the uh, defense is going to continue to do. Um, uh, they're, they're currently taking their time dissecting this video, and they're doing a good job. I mean, that's the due diligence that you'd want out of a defense team. Uh, but ultimately, overcoming um, some of the things in this case might be difficult. So I, I think they have an uphill battle from here. Speaking of the uh, defense, let's go back to how they cross-examined Alex, uh, this stepson of the defendant.